how tolerant will the Fed be then of a recession and how deep would it have to go? How bad would it have to get for the Fed to pivot? Well, I think that uh, the Fed basically told us today uh, that a recession is in the cards and they didn't uh, actually come out and say it, uh, but they bumped up their unemployment rate forecast uh, to 4.4%. Uh, the low in the unemployment rate was 35 and whenever you've had the unemployment rate go up 90 basis points from a cycle low, uh, you've gone into recession 100% of the time. Uh, I don't think that the Fed wants to see a recession, but they would view that as uh, a byproduct of what their primary goal is. Their their only goal is to get inflation down to 2%. Uh, you know, Powell told us in August at Jackson Hole to be prepared for pain. So mm -hmm. it's going to be, as you said, a degree as to how bad will the recession be. Uh, I don't think it's their base case, but they're prepared for it. The only metric that they are focused on it's not gdp it's not non-farm payrolls it's getting to two percent headline inflation it has to be understood that they are pursuing a lagging indicator uh and really a flawed statistic where 30 yes. percent of the index is shelter and that's the problem is that getting down to two percent yes given the lags in terms of what it will mean for rents to come back down uh, they're going to have to drill a hole in the economy to get to that 2% uh, objective. David, uh, that's the grim reality. That's, that's going to be a challenge. That's going to be a challenge right there, isn't it? When you consider uh, if unemployment is going to rise in line with uh, recessionary activity, and then you've got the political event risk. And I personally think that this is that this is very important in November with the midterms. Isn't that going to add to the pressure uh, on the Fed to moderate? I don't think so. Uh, mm. You know, the reality is that uh, Capitol Hill, uh, academia, uh, the media, former Fed officials in the White House are four square behind what the Fed is doing, as incredible as that sounds, because Joe Biden uh, received all the blame for the inflation that we had. And I think that Jay Powell has a personal objective, uh, which is his legacy. And he doesn't want his legacy to be comparing him to Arthur Burns. And he's going out of his way to continuously compare himself to Paul Volcker. Paul Volcker killed inflation by generating the conditions for back-to-back -back recessions in 1980 and 81, 82. And part of the reason why he accomplished that was through financial conditions and generating what was almost a three-year bear market. And so Powell is laying his cards down under the table. At every opportunity, since comparing himself to Paul Volcker, Paul Volcker is viewed as a great inflation dragon slayer, but he did it by generating back-to-back -back recessions. And I think that's where we're heading. And I don't think the election is going to get in the way. I mean, we all know the election's coming. The midterms are coming in November. What did the Fed do today? They told us that their intent is to raise rates 125 basis points of the next two meetings. Mathematically, that means they still want to go 75 at the November meeting. And then 50 in December, when liquidity conditions are basically shut down. So it'll be very interesting to see. One thing I can tell you is that the market environment is going to be extremely volatile for the next several months.